The Honourable Member for Skeena, Buckley Valley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On Friday, a Russian ship carrying more than 500 million litres of bunker fuel lost all power just off the coast of Haida Gwaii. The Canadian Coast Guard vessel, the Gordon Reed, was hundreds of kilometres away and it took almost 20 hours for it to reach the drifting ship. Thankfully, favourable winds helped keep the ship from running aground and a private American tugboat eventually towed it into shore. Is the minister comfortable with a marine safety plan that is based on a U.S. tugboat and blind luck in order to keep B.C.'s coast safe? Here, here. Oh. The Honourable Minister of Fisheries and Oceans. Mr. Speaker, luck had nothing to do with this situation. Uh, the, Russian ship, the Russian ship lost power outside Canadian waters in very rough weather, Mr. Speaker. The private sector provides towing service to the marine industry, but we are grateful that the Canadian Coast Guard was able to keep the situation under control, which was in very difficult conditions, Mr. Speaker, until the tug arrived from Prince Rupert. Here, here. The Honourable Member Christina Buckley Valley. If they, if they really want to show their gratitude to the Canadian Coast Guard, maybe they wouldn't have cut $20 million and 300 here, here, here. Here, here. Even, even after the Gordon Reed arrived, its cable, tow cable snapped three times. But this Russian ship was only about a third as big as the huge super tankers Northern Gateway wants to bring to the very same waters off the West Coast. How can Conservatives, especially B.C. Conservatives, back their government's plan to put hundreds of oil super tankers off the B.C. coast when we don't even have the capacity to protect ourselves right now? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Fisheries and Oceans. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this Russian ship was uh, lost power outside of Canadian waters, uh, and the Canadian Coast Guard responded, Mr. Speaker, and they kept the situation under control, which was under very difficult conditions, until the tug arrived from Prince Rupert, Mr. Speaker. We as a government have committed $6.8 billion for the renewal of the Coast Guard fleet, which demonstrates our support for the safety and security of our marine industries and for our environment, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable